Good evening guys and welcome back back at Ogmore. Mark has become a good firm favourite for myself at the moment. <clears throat> Very productive over the last few sessions. The wind once we get down onto the mark is not gonna be totally ideal. But it is supposed to be flattening off. And we're only on a small tide, which is more favourable down this area. Sean is about to finish work soon. This is one of these little quick after work sessions for myself as well. With a bit of luck, if the swells will be down. And we can get into a few nice fish. Tonight's target, I've got crab, sand eel, and joeys. I'm gonna put the crab and the sand eel out while the tide is flooding. And as I previously said about this mark, do get a run of tide around an hour before high, a good run of tide. And that's generally when we have picked up some good fish. So the plan, is I've got some joeys and we're going to put some joeys out and sit on those over the hour before high water and hopefully pull up something really big so some nice white water out there already I can see reasonably flat as well so let's go on it guys let's get into some fish So guys, good evening, welcome back. Here's a quick run through the baits this evening. We got anchovy. I haven't bothered with squid tonight. This is an anchovy there, 40 teamer, 40 octopus on a reasonably long pulley rig, eight down sled. Reason I bought eight down sleds tonight is there is a little bit of a swell at the start. I can trip the leads. You see this big one coming in now. Sometimes the lines will trip. We've got some crab. We're going to target the hounds. Another pack of the crab. There's some reason to be small ones. We've got some sand eel. And we've got some nice joeys for the hour up the high water. Where we hope it will kick off. Um, as I said, eight down sleds. Let's get the first bait out into the mix. Let's use any rays out there waiting. And there we have it guys, first fish of the night. Nice little small light on the anchovy, straight anchovy. We turn it around, it's only a small fish. Absolutely annihilated our bait. And that's the 4 0 teamer. 4 0 octopus never fails me, guys. Only a small fish, nothing to write home about. Picked the bait up pretty quick. Baits have been out there five, ten minutes, and they're just dropping me, bouncing me off back down the tide. So, got the crab on the left hand rod, and double sand eel, straight sand eel now on the, the right hand rod. Swells are picking up a bit now. Now that they are starting to reach the rocks, hopefully it'll ease off a touch soon. As usual, guys, tonight I've got my XT GTs, Fallon Caster Specials. Close tips over and over there. Absolutely beautiful. A carbon glass tip on. These XT 435 is an absolute game changer. The 300 gram tips are an absolute powerhouse for these things. they a powerhouse in disguise. Look at this swell coming in now. Always have your wits about you guys. Got a bit of an onshore wind. Even though it's a small tide, it's filling up reasonably quick. 
we are going to have to get off this ledge shortly get up out of the way so get a quick picture over this one it saves me a little tea bag as we call them we'll let them rest up as i said previously i'm not just going to throw them in into all the rough stuff there let it fill up a bit get a bit of water get a bit of depth and then we can get the fish back out nice and safe looks like we got the first hound bite of the night guys dropping me slack at the moment come on What's messing about that's right slack guys i gotta get that in there we are guys, I haven't got a rod in the water at the moment. It's a fresh rock pool from the previous tide. That's three casts, three fish. Hound on the crab, one small light on a whole anchovy, and the other small light on double sand eel, straight sand eel. So, show them better what you have, because I am struggling a bit, trying to keep an eye on the rods. They've all pretty much been slack liners. Apart from the hound, I wanted to run and then I put the camera on and he sat a bounce in the slack. So let's get some fresh baits rigged up and let's get back into these fish, guys. They're on the feed. Another quick update, guys. That is a four cast, four fish. Far better stamp on this uh, small light. The last one just came in. That's about eight pound. Pounds above three, four pound. Those rays. Little tiny tea bags. Two pound, three pound at the most. Um, hope Sean hurries up because it is carnage. I can't keep a rod in the water. I'm down to one rod at the moment. So I'm sorry about the footage, guys, as it is, but it's a bit gnarly out there at the moment. So as soon as Sean comes, we get a bit of better footage. We can keep an eye on the tide, etc., as well. Then. So that's five casts, five fish, three small lights, one hound. Sean's just turned up. The swells are absolutely hammering it now. So we have to move back again in a minute. What I think is a fish on our right hand rod, he's dropping slack. So I've just put a crab back out on the left hand rod, try for another hound. And things we come to an hour before high water. We're gonna try some big baits. See if there's any big fish taking them out. This is how quick the smiles will come in. You can see it just filling up around us now, right in front of us. And it will start filling up towards us. So always be mindful of the swells. Move up to some higher ground shortly. At the same time we can get these fish back as well. Just gonna get these fish back now. That's five fish, five casts. It's a nice small light there, about seven, eight pound, small hound. Another three small rays. Let's get them all back. It's going mad yeah. Sean's first cast. Straight into the fish. Nice meal. Nice colours as well. It's good fish, as well. Come back a little bit. Cracking me, that is. Getting a bit naughty around us now, so we're getting right up out the way. I've, I've just had a run and it's slack. Let's go and get him in quick. A better hound now for myself. Nice scratcher screamer. Uh, stamp is about six, seven pound I think. Good fight with fish, we can get a picture. We'll get straight back. Straps are just coming on a feed. Sean's just had a nice one. It's gotta be about eight pound now, about nine pound. Yeah. Nice long fish that is. It's deceiving how long that fish is. And a nice fat one. Slack liner. Looked up, his lines all the way down tide and slack. Get these tea bar off, get them back in. Another round for me guys. Nice little small one. 
looked up, line was flat on, flat on the deck. So that's three in here for me. Three ounces, uh, four rays, Sean's had a ray, and put both down to one rod at the minute. But I don't think Sean's got a rod out. Yeah, he's got one out. So we're gonna drop down to one rod a minute because we literally cannot keep a line in the water for the eyes and these things. Hey, cracking fish. Literally just pull that anchovy bait out. And I'm starting to go over. Do apologize guys if it is a lot of wind noise tonight. It's a bit inevitable but we'll let that bite progress a little bit now because it is a little gnarly out in front. Hopefully on the next indication of a bite. I'll get into it. Here's a quick look at my hound rig. Eight down sled, short pulley. The good old 4 0 catfish hooks on both sides. The panel lock as well, he's snelled. The panel lock is actually snelled in, so that's, that means it's locked in. And it's on a short pulley. Under a pound rig body, under a pound up length, which we certainly need tonight because we are getting hammered by these waves. Here, got another ray on that rod, both down to one rod each. That one's starting to come up slack now, so we're gonna get this one in, get the crab back out. It's time to get some uh, big baits out, I think, for the next hour for the last hour of the flood. See if we can pick anything big up. This is literally gonna be a short and sharp sweet video, I think, guys. Honestly, every single cast that we're pulling out at the minute, we're either having runs on younds, or slack liners. We, Sean literally just managed to get two rods in the water. I'm still down to one. Oh, that's gone slack as well. Come on, that's on the crab, that is. Let's see if it'll go over for us. Let's see if we can. Uh... Try and get a run for the camera. We are literally all over the place, a minute, guys. <laughs> It's a nice predicament to be in, but when the water's like it is, really, really got to have your wits about you. Just one swell, that's all it takes. Sean's just lifting his, trying to lift his fish in now. This is where you really got to be careful. I'm going to get two big baits ready now. Get them out. We're about an hour from high now. Our Sean slack liner, nice hound, typical crack a can open, rod goes over. I think you might want to have something on there as well. That's dropping him slack as well. Should we get a quick pitch over this? Let's see if we get the big bait out. But when I say we're going big for the next hour up the high, we've got wire trace. Fresh Barry mackerel. It's been cut in half. Loads of blood coming out of that, as I say. Wire traces just in case. Let's get them out there. Start the rain, guys. Absolutely typical. That mackerel bait that you've seen earlier. Absolutely annihilated. Got a nice cut on him as well from somewhere. Our trace can go back now in the box. It's no good to anybody. Still got one on the right hand rod. And a triple sand needle squid on the other. 
Sorry about the footage, guys. It's absolutely ludicrous, you know. Come on, sold out. It's a better deal for me. On a Joey. Typical slack line again. With the small ones. Gonna be bigger ones. Let's T-bar them off and get another big Joey on. So that is it then again, guys. For another absolutely manic session at Ogmo. Off the top of the head, I've had three or four rays, small eyes, three or four hounds, strap heels, a doggy, Sean, I've had small eyes, a hound, strap heels. Been really, really hard work at the moment with these big swells coming in like they are. We have literally just got the high water and that is it. We're gonna call it a day. We'll get a McDonald's, nice hot chocolate, early night, ready for the carnage of the kids in the morning. So thanks again guys. If you haven't already liked, subscribed, pop us a quick subscribe. Doesn't cost anything. Hopefully in the week we're gonna get back out on the fly fishing. And we have a little casting class. I wouldn't say a master class, but a little casting tuition planned in for in the week as well. So thanks again, guys. Catch you on the next one.